I'm so happy to be giving you an overview of my new Fairy Dust Pigment Collection. But first, I want to step back in time with you and share my inspiration for this collection, which was visiting the truly wondrous cavern that is the pigment store in Tokyo. The joy I had in seeing all of those colours in their most basic form as pigment. And pigment's the basis of all art supplies. Everything else that gets added to it turns them into the different types of art supplies. But pigment is where it all starts. And I have had so much fun and joy and added to my knowledge of art and how it has affected and expanded my own creativity through playing with pigments. Not just the pigments that I got from this particular store, but pigments that I've been collecting on all of my travels over the years. And making your own art supplies from pigment isn't difficult. But it certainly can feel intimidating that you might think that you have to be an expert to be able to do this or that it's going to take tons of time and neither of those things are true. And the time that you do take to create your own watercolours, which is what I'm going to be showing you first, it, oh, it marries you, it, you ingest the, more creativity because you have created the supply that you're going to use, you can customize it. You learn so much about color. And as you go, it's really quite a <laughs> revelatory experience. And that is why I've called my new collection Fairy Dust, because that encapsulates the playfulness and the magic that pure color brings. And this collection brings together the joy, the learning experience, the expansion of creativity to you. Of course, the core of the Fairy Dust Pigment Collection is the pigments themselves. All 50 of the Fairy Dust Pigments are vibrant and intensely pigmented, but they range from vivid colors right through to neutrals, including rich coppers, golds and bronzes. You can make several pans from each of these little five gram sachets, plus making inks, mists and markers. The shimmer in all of the fairy dust pigments comes from mica, which is a very stable, skin safe, naturally occurring mineral. And they've been certified as ethically harvested. As part of the collection, you get the fairy dust pigments box so that you can keep all of your fairy dust pigments organized including the magical moonlight collection which is this little set of 10 white looking pigments i'll show you those later in the video i'll also show you how you make that lovely little collectible box and the rest of the collection it's full of tools that help making your own watercolors an absolute breeze and more than that fun don't have to be exacting with your measurements but having some control over how much pigment you're mixing up is important. And that's why I have the little treasure measures. They've got a three gram and one gram scoop on either end. Adding just enough water is terrific too. That's why I have the palette pipettes. They've got the removable silicon squeezy end so you can keep everything nice and clean. Then we have the spatulas. These are what I use to mix my watercolors and they are fantastic for scraping paint through stencils and for just general art making. The color cauldron set is perfect for mixing your pigments in. There are two of the little porcelain color cauldrons. They've got a silicon base to help them not move as you are creating. You've got a pestle for blending heavier pigments. And the colorful little box is easily repurposed for other storage. And once you've mixed your watercolors, you're going to need something to put them into. This is the Pantastic palette. It is a magnetic palette with custom made 
little pans that can sit inside. You can put these in other palettes if you want. And the reason I call it a Pantastic palette is because of this shape. It's broader and shallower than a normal half pan, which is what I usually use. And when working with handmade watercolors, it does make it easier for the brush to pick up more of the pigment. They hold exactly the same amount as my other Petite Palette watercolors, which are a half pan. There are 20 pans in each of the Pantastic palettes. And in the big Fairy Dust Pigment bundle, there are actually three of the palettes included so that you've got a pan for every single color. And the monogram on the bottom of the pan gives a little bit of extra texture for the watercolors to cling on to. On my website, you'll find a downloadable swatch sheet that you can print onto watercolor paper so that you can make a swatch chart for every palette. As a slight tangent, on janedavenport.com, we also have lots of other palettes and different types of pans for you to make customized watercolor palettes. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this looks fun, Jane, but those sachets, how many watercolors do they really make? Let me show you. I've placed the whole sachet. I've added some glycerin. I've added an equal amount of the binder. And I'm slowly adding some drops of distilled water because I don't want the solution to get too runny. I want it to be creamy so that I can just add it to the pan and it will self spread. If it does get too runny, it's not the end of the world. It just means that the paint that you make is a little bit flatter. And I will show you that in detail as well as the whole recipe for this in another video. I just want to show you quickly how many pans the one of bag makes. I easily got six of my Pantastic palettes out of this plus a little one of my art time palettes for a travel set and I've still got enough left over to make ink for some other creative tools. Another way of showing you how potent the fairy dust pigments are, here in this example I've taken one gram of this gorgeous vivid pink red. I've made one of my fantastic palettes, a little art time travel palette, a, I filled a water brush, made my own mermaid marker with sparkle in it, and I filled one of my little mister bottles and I can either paint with that as an ink or spray it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I make my watercolors in detail and the other inky things. In the meantime, on my website, or if you ever need to refer back to it, I have a full recipe card there telling you exactly my personal recipe. The beautiful thing though, about making your own watercolors and mixing pigments is that you can experiment and you might have a different way of putting things together, a different recipe that suits you better. This is some of the things that you learn as you go. You can print that recipe card out for your reference and you'll also find a full list there of all of the color names as a reference and all of the fairy dust pigments are named after butterflies because they are the real world fairies, right? When you receive your fairy dust pigments, you get, of course, color all pigment. of the 50 colors and a little color swatch card and a matching sticker. So you've got all of the names as a little reference. You also get the flat packed fairy dust pigment box. There is a protective film that you remove and then you just reshape each of the corners so that you end up with a nice rectangle. To form the bottom layer of the box, again, just fold in on the creases that are already there. These pieces are all clear. And you're going to take the larger, longer side that has a groove coming inwards. That's going to be the piece you put down first, then both of the shorter side flaps. And then when you fold down the final piece, which has the tongue, the piece that sticks out, it'll just slip in 
at exactly the right angle and now you've got your little box and all of those little fairy dust pigments will sit in there and there's room for the magical moonlight set as well these pigments all look white in the bag they kind of like little bags of drugs although well they're not dangerous but they are addictive that is true <laughs> but each of these has an interference shimmer color that changes with the light and it's especially effective on darker backgrounds or on black paper beautiful you can make up watercolors as you go you can just mix a little bit of the pigment with some binder a little bit of water and just use it then and there or you can do as I've done and make all of the watercolors into a pan set which uh, oh, was very relaxing I must say and I love using them here they all are brand new stump so I'm still setting and there are 60 pigments in total and that's three palettes so I've got mine divided into warm colors cool colors neutrals and the magical moonlights which have a silver tone and then they have their changing color beautiful for painting more hmm, mythical aspects in art or for catching a little highlight in eyes but all of these fairy dust pigments have mica they're all shimmery they all have that lovely stardust quality and I love mixing them with matte art supplies and metallic art supplies but especially matte because then you get the, the changing the contrast between the beautiful metallics in the background and all the shimmer and then the matte on the top in my watercolor journal here I've got big swatches of uh, the beautiful watercolors that I've made from the fairy dust pigments and then I've layered them with my layer cake paint which is a very matte and opaque and a lovely contrast and I've also used lots of paint pens too and as much as making swatches and decorating swatches is making artwork is where the fun really lies the real juice of any art supply and oh these beautiful pigments on black paper or dark backgrounds are gorgeous and you can mix them in with acrylics they won't they'll lose their sparkle but they will keep their color so you can tint your acrylics so matte mediums and gessos as well as matte paint and you can have a lovely time experimenting creating your own colors and playing to your heart's content Oh, I'm just looking at these colors right now it makes me want to run to the studio and start painting immediately as I mentioned earlier in the video I do have another video with all of the more exacting details on how to mix watercolors and create some of the other tools that I've shown you the fairy dust collection is exclusive to my website janedovenport.com we ship all over the world every day you can find all of the recipes and resources that I've mentioned throughout this video as well as other videos showing you how to use the fairy dust pigments as well as make them I absolutely have loved creating this collection it's so exciting for me from that original inspiration dealing with and mixing so many watercolors and working with pigments finding an easier way I used to feel quite intimidated about working with pigments like this and oh it you don't need to feel that way at all this collection is there to help you really dive into your love of color it really is a dream come true for anyone that suffers from rainbow itis Through the clouds, the
Stop.